So we've been preparing for a big trip, uh, and that kind of means that we have to get everything as compact as possible. Getting ready for this trip, there's been a lot of different details that we've been working on, and one of them is we go out and we do mobile streams. So an important part of that puzzle is having good microphones with good noise canceling. On that note, let's go check out what's over the table. We'll see you there. All right, so we got this sent to us to check out. It's the uh, Godox WEC 2 kit, WEC 2 kit, which is basically um, a wireless audio kit that includes two transmitters and one receiver in a compact recharging case. I've seen other microphones that are kind of like this before. Basically, I have this set. This is from um, a different different brand, obviously, but um, Comica makes these and they're this small compact set, but they're kind of not great all the time. They only have uh, this type of connector, first of all, so it actually plugs in and gets powered from your phone. It's mostly just for, for mobile devices. But then it's also, uh, it's only like 16, what is that, 16 bit audio? So it sounds really compressed. It does, does have noise canceling, which is nice, but doesn't quite do the job. So we've been looking for something else. Now this is the uh, wireless lavalier microphone system from Godox, which uh, does look pretty interesting. Let's crack it open, let's check it out. We got our manual. What, kit one and kit two? I guess the kit one is, uh, is just the one microphone and kit two is two of them. Beautiful, all right, let's check this thing out. All right, comes in a nice little carry case. We can get the box out of here. And in that carrying case, let's see. We have a bunch of cables. Some wind muffs. Cool. These up here a little bit. And then we have this thing which is the uh, the actual case. A little kind of sleek case. You can tell we've already pulled it out and messed with it a little bit. And uh, when you open that up, if I'm not mistaken, they may have died at the time that we, uh, we used them. Yeah, yeah. I activated them and then I let them die. <laughs> Um, but yeah, they, uh, they display, as you can see here from the flashing, they display the charging level right on there. So I'm going to get these plugged in, make sure that they're all charged up. We can check them out. But in the meantime, we'll take a look at the, uh, devices on the inside. There's a nice, easy little case like this. Actually, I'm going to show that over in this cam. Camera two. So here, there's the case, got batteries and all that stuff. The case itself does recharge the devices, so these are actually charged right now. They, because I pulled them out, they um, activated the, uh, the wireless in them. They turn on automatically as you pull them out. You'll be able to see those start to connect. And there we go. That's full solid light on that because that's now connected, both of these microphones. And they have some actually pretty interesting features on them. So this, this one here is the uh, the receiver. Let me get this plugged in first. Okay, so here's the receiver. Basically, the receiver has a audio out, a power button, so you can turn it off. Press and hold. Turn it off when you're out and about doing stuff. If you need to take a pause or a break in production, that means that you know you don't have a, a, a transmitter that's just draining battery the entire time. Conserve a little bit of power like that. Press and hold, turn that back on. There we go, just as easy. Now it does have a plus and minus button here on this side, and I think that that's output. So we can adjust our volume there. It does have an M as well. 
just, just barely see that. There's that M and then there's the link button as well. So if you're ever uh, disconnected from the transmitters or want to add another transmitter, I'm sure that that's the, that's the method of going about it. This also has a clip, works with a cold shoe or a hot shoe mount. You can clip it in there. It seems to be about the same size. Let me see, do I have something that I can test that on? Yes, I do. Right here, random phone mount. Uh, let's see, let's see. There's the cold shoe part. Aha, just as expected. Beautiful. It's actually really, really tight and stable too. Nice. I like that. Seems to work well. Cool. Okay, so that's our transmitter. Let's look at our, or sorry, that's our receiver. Let's look at our transmitters. So the transmitters have built in microphones here on the end. And as always, the same clip nice and actually pretty big and sturdy on these. I've had other ones, actually the, the last ones that I showed you, the clip clip is broken off of those. Uh, and the one I wasn't even using it at the time, I just pulled it out of the box and it's, oh, nope, it's already cracked off. So uh, yeah, the uh, Godox ones here have USB-C, you can charge on the bottom, it looks like. I'm wondering if this could also be used as an audio input, because some of these, they have the USB-C in on them and USB-C can also work as um, as an audio input. So maybe, I don't know, I'll test it, but I'm, I'm not too sure about it. I don't have a USB-C microphone. I have USB-C pair of headphones that also has a microphone on there. Not sure if that would work the same way, but um, yeah, we'll do some testing. We'll see if that, that works out eventually. But on the side here, you'll see it has this big old orange button. You have your power button, which is nice. You can turn the unit off and on. Just like so, nice and easy. Press it back on, bam, look at that. Gorgeous, and it's already reconnected, it's real quick. Well, this button on the side is your link button, but it's also your dynamic noise reduction button. So apparently if you click that, it goes to orange, you are now in noise reduction mode. So we're gonna give that a test here in a second. Um, we'll maybe have uh, Ashley put on a show or something like that in the background. Yeah, so altogether, relatively compact kit. It's just these three items. And then you have your case right here, which we are slowly charging up. It's currently at, um, looks like it was at just about 4%. There we go, just about 4%. Cool. All right, now as you can hear in the background, Ashley has turned the TV on. There's got some commercials going, some random crap on. We'll see what that sounds like with the normal microphones that we're using right now, which are actually a very expensive set of Sony mics. Um, these are the wireless microphones that work with the digital audio input on the top, works with the uh, the cold shoe, or sorry, the hot shoe mount, and it's nice, sounds great, very expensive. They're like three, four hundred dollars for one microphone. So this is a, a little bit of a difference. and. Um, I'm excited to check that out. That sucks. The uh, microphone's working now. I saw that it was connected when I first got my stuff together, but then um, obviously something got something died or went into standby mode. I was doing a lot of futzing around with the computer, so that's that's probably what happened. But um, yeah, so we'll get some audio playing in the background. Ash is going to play a YouTube video, so hopefully we don't get copyright striked. But um, the idea is that we want to hear some sort of background noise, you know, and this is a fairly quiet studio. You know, there's some there's some background for us. So good Bob, as you know, yeah, he's he baked for So as you can see, these mics do a pretty good job of like taking care of the noise. But at the same time, that's about a three, four hundred dollar price tag. You know, it's it's relatively expensive and it's only one microphone. You can get a set that has multiple microphones, but you're you're getting into like the $600 range there. It does have one of those, re, you know, recharging cases, which is lovely, but very expensive relatively. So we are going to uh, we are going to try this out instead. So we're in the charging case, only about five percent right now, but that's again just the case. So that's not a bad. Bad position to be in. We have uh, two cables to choose from here. We have the TRRS to TRS cable or the TRS to TRS cable. And you want to be 
certain about which one you're using here because the TRRS, this one, which is tip, ring, ring, sleeve, TRRS versus tip, ring, sleeve, TRS. So hopefully you can see the difference there. I'm, I'm not sure if it's showing up too well, but um, the idea is that there's three stripes on a TRRS cable, uh, on a, a, a TRRS um, bit, whatever the heck this thing's called. And then there's uh, two rings, two black rings on a TRS. TRS is what you're gonna use for your cameras, for your uh, basically audio devices that aren't like headphones and microphone. These are for mostly for older cell phones. So cell phones that would use a, an audio jack that can also have a microphone in the same set of headphones. So like older iPhone headphones, stuff like that, older Samsung stuff. They used to have like, you know, the, the inline microphone. That's the sort of thing that we're, we're gonna be using that for. So I'm probably not gonna be using that cable at all, honestly, it's a little bit kind of outdated, but um, it's good that they include that stuff in there just in case anyone has need for something that has the TRRS interface. Anyway, so we're gonna take our cable here. We're going to get our, uh -huh -huh, our receiver. We'll plug that in right there. And this is, this is like a really honestly compact little receiver setup. According to the manual, it has some decent range. Let's see, we can kind of check out some of those details in here real quick. Charging case, I want some specs. Here we go, technical data. Okay, so uses 2.4 gigahertz, first of all. So you're gonna have a little bit longer range because of that. Yeah, it says max wireless distance is about 200 meters, which is pretty good, 600 feet. Lithium battery inside of the transmitter is about 140 milliamps and 200 milliamps inside of the receiver. Approximately eight hours working time for either. The charging case, it says, will charge three, de it's three devices about twice. So maybe not a full charge on that second time, or, you know, it'll just keep them at 100% so that once you're at the gig, you know that they're good to go. Maybe you get another like 50% out of them or something like that. Negative 10 to 50, 50 degrees Celsius working temperature. That's pretty, pretty intense. And they're very light. They only weigh 12 grams and then 16 grams for the receiver. So. Nice lightweight setup, that's always good. Cool, okay, so let's check this out. We got, uh, we'll pull out a transmitter and we are going to switch these for this. So you'll be able to hear the difference. We've got a little bit of background noise going. Hopefully you can hear just a little tiny touch of that. Hopefully it's not too much, but um, yeah, I'll switch those right now. Okay, so uh, I had to turn off the camera because we were using the digital input, so that had to kind of change. It looks like this might be a little bit loud, but basically this is just plugging it in, turning it on, seeing what happens. I don't have noise canceling on yet. You can tell we're still, I think, yeah, green. Um, I haven't adjusted the audio volume up or down. I think that it's pretty loud right now. So let's, let's do that first. Okay, so yeah, it shows up as um, in the middle volume setting to begin with, there's basically medium, there's low, and then there's also high. So we're on the low setting now. So it should be a little bit more um, more pleasing, but it looks like from our, our levels that we don't have a whole lot of noise from the background and we're not even in denoise yet. So let's check that out. Let's see what happens. All right. There is a YouTube video playing 15 feet to my left. It's not super loud, but at the same time, it's like a podcast of people all talking about stuff. So it should be a decent amount of, of noise. So interesting. Um, there's also a stereo and mono setting that I just found on this uh, receiver. If you press and hold the M button, it switches between those two. It's very simple. The stereo mode basically puts each receiver, or sorry, each transmitter on its own channel, and the mono mode mixes everything to both channels. That way you can't separate basically either transmitter in post, but if you were to go with the stereo mode, you could pull it apart. 
Mono mode is going to be a lot better for live streaming because you want everyone to be heard regardless of like, you don't want just like one person, one headphone, one person, the other. It's really weird and kind of distracting. So instead you would set that to mono mode and it would output both transmitters into both ears of the viewers. So if they're using their headphones, they're using their phone, whatever, it's not going to be just like one voice on one side, which always seems really strange. I've accidentally done that a couple times before. So, um, yeah, but overall, these are uh, these are super interesting. I like the case setup. I like the charging case idea. We've been using a set of um, other microphones recently that have that same sort of idea, but they're they're big. So this is helping to kind of pare down our kit. And yeah, that's gonna be uh, gonna be really helpful in the next couple of months. So hopefully this audio sounded pretty good. We're gonna go over to the uh, the desk and kind of close out this episode. We'll see you over there. Alrighty, well, that's an interesting piece of product. Godox definitely has an interesting uh, set of mics there. I'm, I'm curious what this sounds like and I'm gonna bring it into post and obviously check that out. But in the future, hopefully we'll be using these for live streams for various purposes and um, also for, for kind of vlog content, for running and gunning type stuff, maybe even when we're out live streaming. So we'll have to see, we'll see what happens and uh, we'll keep you informed. We'll be sure to post back here with uh, any more results that we find. So until next time, everybody, thanks again for watching. Peace out. All right. Yeah, interesting. I think these could work well for streaming. I guess it really just depends what I sound like here though. Hopefully it's good. Woo, woo, woo.